Welcome to this short tutorial on how to set up observers and targets for LOS Pro. So first let's uh, begin by creating a new cube. Let's say that this is our observer. So we can add a new component. Go to LOS Pro, next site, and then we want to add an observer. So it's a 3D scene, so we're going to use a 3D observer. All right, uh, we've got a bunch of configurations here, but first let's set up the uh, targets. So for that I'm going to create a sphere, why not? Go to add components, LS Pro, site, and target 3D. Okay, so we now have the observer and we have the target. So first let's configure the observer. As you can see at the top here, we have raycast layer mask contains sight or hearing layer. Um, this means that our layer, raycasting layer, consists of the LOS Pro sight and hearing layer. In case you don't have these layers yet, you can actually define them by going up to layer, add layer, and then you can define them here. It doesn't matter if they're 10 or 11, you can define them anywhere you like. And as you can see, a manager's object has been created. If it hasn't been created, you can manually create it. Um, and here you can define which layers should be used for the sight and uh, hearing triggers. So in the um, Raycast layer for the uh, observer, we want to uncheck the site and we want to uncheck the hearing layers. And as you can see, the warning disappears. Um, first off, we have the update interval. This is how often um, the observer will try to look for new objects that are in range. We have the field of view dot value. As you can see, we have a visual representation of what it looks like. The viewing distance. Uh, the sample count, this is the amount of um, raycast it will use in order to detect the object. The minimal visible factor, so 0.2 means the object has to be at least 20% visible in order for it to be detected. We have instantly detect, so if the object is for 90% visible or more, it can instantly detect it and it will ignore um, the time it would normally take to detect this object, which is set inside of the observer, so we'll get to that in a second. Um, we can extrapolate the path, so if uh, an object moves behind a wall, the observer will no longer be able to see it, and it can extrapolate the path, so assume uh, the direction where the object would go. Um, currently, this can only be used uh, in, in code. Um, then there's only with tag, so maybe we only want to detect objects that have a specific tag, um, and we can debug. So for now, let's just uh, turn on debug to see... Okay, and then we have the target, um, the detection time. So 0.5 means it take 0.5 seconds to detect this target. So let's say two seconds in order to completely detect the target. You have the minimal visibility multiplier. So as you, as we said in the observer before, we have a, uh, where is it, minimal visible. So 0.2, 20% visible. Assume we set this multiplier to two, the object has to be two times as visible as the observer uh, has defined. And then there's a visibility multiplier. This will raise how visible the object is considered. Um, if it can instantly be detected and if we want to debug. Then there's indexing configurations. We can either automatically index this object and the observer will automatically grab a couple of uh, vertices from this object and use those to detect the target. Uh, this is great for procedural objects or if, you're, uh, if you don't want to set it up manually. Additionally, we can do manual setup and we can manually define where it should raycast um, and which object we would like to use. Uh, in this case, let's just use automatic. Uh, let's give it a try. So as you can see, it's now raycasting to the target. Um, and we can actually attach a debugger Site. So we have a site target debugger. If we attach it on here, oh, let's add that now. Um, and if we start, we can see that the object is visible. So we get a green uh, ball around it. We can see who um, can detect this object. And if we, let's say, add a cube in the scene, which will block the site, you can see that the object is no longer visible. Alright, that's it. 